Hello and welcome back to Breeze Hauls and Reviews. We're gonna get into my trash and my reviews on my empties. These are from when I read in my empties, I think May. So first we're gonna get into hair products. This was for my kids. This is from Hello Bello. This is, I believe, Dax Shepard's and Kristen Bell's brand. This is a fragrance-free premium baby shampoo and wash. It is tear-free for sure. Um, we did use it all the way up. I can't get that little bit, but anyway. We did use that up. Then, I'm trying to use non-aerosols, but it says this is 100% recyclable. The can is made from 25% recycled aluminum. Um, this is this is from Eva NYX. I really do like this dry shampoo. Like, there's not a really intense white cast because I have dark hair, but I need to see if this is, like if they have an aerosol free, because aerosols are not good for the environment because they can't take this apart. But anyway, I did like that. It is affordable. You can get it Ulta. There's a bunch of sales. And then from Pros, or this from Prose, this is my custom formula for conditioner and shampoo. I like it. Um, I personally don't like the subscription. I don't like subscription services for hair and like this kind of stuff because I don't go through shampoo and conditioner super fast. I only wash my hair like once to twice a week, usually once. This week it was twice. But anyway, I do like the conditioner. I feel like I go for the conditioner faster than the shampoo. I use more conditioner than shampoo sometimes, even though I double wash my hair. But anyway, it's like a customizable shampoo. They are carbon neutral, I believe, even though this is plastic, but I want to say it's recyclable and you don't have, you don't get a new pump every time unless you want to. And they have other products, but yeah. Then we have from Amika, I think that this is like a perk from Sephora. They don't have this at Ulta. Perk up dry shampoo. I do like the smell. I only have a little bit, like only like, you know, air is coming out. Again, trying to not use aerosols, but it does smell nice. I used up two of the Trader Joe's tea tree oils. They're 100% Australian, 100% Australian. I do like that for my scalp. Then Pro Se shampoo that I have for my customizable. And then I do really like this brand. This is the Juniper. This is the Jupiter line. I am using the shampoo right now. I really like it. And I really like this. Again, trying to not use aerosols. This is vegan, cruelty-free brand, safe for color and chemically treated hair, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and phthalate-free. Um, zero flakes given is the actual, like I guess, like the company. But this is the purifying mask, cools and clarifies. I really did think it was a very good clarifying without being drying. So I want to get something that's like that, because this is aluminum, but I want to get something that is not an aerosol. But it's a like foam that comes out. And then, also from Eva NYX, NYC, this is the Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. Think of the, what is it? It's like, it's basically like 10 in 1, I forgot what it's called, but I haven't used that in forever. It used to have parabens and now it doesn't. But I do really like this. It reduces frizz, it's a heat protectant, also like I said, very inexpensive. Then this is trash, okay? Trash, trash, trash. We're still using up the shampoo. I use the shade of my legs as well. This is from Orbe. Look at this, this is plasticky. Okay, I may look somewhat fancy. I got sent this an influencer. They're $50 for the shampoo, $50 for the conditioner. <sighs> Way too expensive. Way too expensive. And I thought this was, this is supposed to be balancing conditioner and then I forgot what the shampoo is called. But anyway, terrible. I thought it was drying. This conditioner did absolutely nothing for my hair and I got thick hair, so I need like a thick conditioner, but no, just, I would, I would not buy it. Not worth the, not worth the price at all. And my last hair product is from DP Hue. This is the Gloss Plus. I forgot where I got this, I think Ipsy. Unpigmented deep conditioner. This is really nice. It's supposed to help like with the shine and dilate, dilate. Shade diluter if you're coloring your hair. It is really nice, small. I don't think it had, it's like basically unscented, but it did make my hair shiny. It only was a little bit. This is the Sheer Trans um, parent one. They have other shades. So I would repur I would repurchase if I need to. I do want to try that glaze really bad, just to tone my hair. It looks better on camera, but anyway. Um, let's get into skincare. So I have the Saturday Skin Waterfall, water, the Saturday Skin Waterfall Cream. I believe I got this in Ipsy or Botch. I got this in Botch Germ Ipsy or either Ipsy, but it's completely empty. It looks like you have more product than you actually do. Very light scent. I did think it was moisturizing. It's like a light moisturizer, but it was nice. 
Then we have from Kate Berkey, also from Boss Charm. Yeah, this is, I believe this is glass or it's plastic. I don't know. But this is, you get a lot of Kate Berkey. This is the vitamin C intensive face cream. I did think you got a good amount of product. It's all the way down. I think they're kind of overpriced, but it was really nice. Like a thick moisturizer. Then we have from Drunk Elephant. This is old. I got this like years ago. You, Drunk Elephant's like, you know, packaging. It is the Best Day Jelly Cleanser. It is okay. This is a really good makeup remover. It has a little spatula. I used it all the way up. This is from Good Molecules. It's the Instant Cleansing Mom. Plastic free, this is 100% recyclable. I did think this is really nice. Very easy to remove makeup and I like bombs. Okay, so from Province Beauty, I wanna say I found this myself. My skin was super, super dry and we're going back into that. But now I have some moisturizers that I know that I like. This is one of them. This is the Day Cream, Daydream, Daydream Cream. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> It is their Adaptogen Moisturizer. It says it's for all skin types. This is, it has ashwanda, immortal flower, and vegan collagen. I used as much as I could. I mean, I could have scraped a little bit more, but this is glass. I don't think it was super expensive. I got it, like, either it was on Amazon or I found it myself. Don't think it was sent to me. If it was, then I'll, I'll try to find where, like, I either, I don't know. But it was really nice, very hydrating. I really like, like, a thicker moisturizer or, like, I don't know, super, like a creamy moisturizer. I like water creams too, but sometimes I want something that's thicker. This is glass, this is from Glow Oasis. This is like a water cream. I used all of it. Um, I did really like this, I got this in like, I think I got this around winter time. It was very hydrating, 100% um, recyclable. Has vegan probiotics in it. Um, it literally felt like a water cream, but it was very hydrating. It is the, their Glow Burst Intense Hydration Boosting Cream. And then I love this from Josie Moran. I use this up. This is, it says it was in the scent juicy grapefruit, but like very, very, very mildly scented. It mostly smells like argan oil because it is argan oil. It's their whipped argan oil face butter. I got this during the mega drop shop on Ipsy. I think it was like $15 and I love this. It's glass. I think this is the only product I've tried from Josie Moran, except for I had a sample when they did makeup. I don't know if they still do makeup of like their foundation or tinted moisturizer. But yeah, super great for dry skin. Very thick, very moisturizing. I really liked it. From The Ordinary, 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. I really like this, great price. Like their stuff is really, the prices are great and it's very simple formula. So I like that it's a dropper, just simple packaging like that. Then we have also from The Ordinary, their hyaluronic acid. I did repurchase this. I really liked it. I'm using up another oil right now that I got in a box. So when I'm done with that, then I will repurchase that. So that's the best price. But yeah, I really like The Ordinary, from what I've tried. Grown Alchemist Bouncy Toner. I really didn't notice a difference. I really don't notice a difference with a lot of toners. I have been using a Witch Hazel Toner, which I think I've noticed a difference on. I don't know, I'm probably gonna stick to that. But this was just a mini, I think I've gotten the big one, but I get I gave that away to somebody that I got. I got this in Ipsy and I got the big one in Box Jar by Ipsy, I believe. And then this is what I used while I was pregnant. Um, and it was very concentrated. I still actually have some, but this is kind of getting old. My daughter's almost three. This was from, I think I got this from Etsy. This is, I had a hard time finding some of these bombs, like nipple bombs and like belly bombs for, um, that didn't have beeswax. And this is small batch made, like I got it on Etsy. This is the full, this is from Spellbound Apophysary. Full Moon Belly and, what does that say? Belly and Scar Bomb. So it, it was very hydrating. It has cocoa butter in it, frankincense. It was like, it smells like rosehip or like argan seed oil, that's what it has. But yeah, I still have some in there. I mean, I guess I can just put it like on my cuticles or something, but I did really like that when I was pregnant. This took me a while to finish. This is, cause it's six ounces of cleanser. Um, I've used most of it, but I'm like, this is getting old. This is from Face Fury. I think this is, no, I have, I think I have one more, but it's probably getting too old. This is their vitamin C cream cleanser. It's this amber glass packaging. I do like some of their products. The prices are pretty good too. Like if you get six ounces, that's a lot of cleanser. And this is a cream cleanser too. So it's really great for dry skin. Don't know about removing makeup. It says it's supposed to help with makeup. And it says it's for combination skin, which I kind of have right now. I'm more dry but I was more combo like dry for a little bit, but now I'm going back into dry. 
It's a UK brand. They have other products that are kind of like the ordinary, but like the packaging's simple. It says what it is. They have stuff for all different skin types. They have some makeup only. I only bought their blush, but I don't really like liquid products like that. Oh, some derma planers. Derma, is that what it's called? Derma planers. These are from Kitsch. They are a sustainable brand. I'm trying to see. I just use them to get my like, yes, I have hair on my face. Oh my God. Um, I don't know. They're supposed to be a more sustainable brand at least. Cruelty free. Re it says you can reuse this. I don't know what I'm going to reuse this as. It's 100% stainless steel blade. You get 12 of these. Um, I use them for my, you know, my face. So yeah. Um, so it's an LA brand, but it's made in China. It's designed in LA, made in China. But I really like those. I would, I will repurchase some derma planers. I just like, I don't like the reusable ones. I've heard like they're, I mean, they're kind of pricey and as well as like, I've heard they're not like as good as those. You can get like sugar cane plastic or something with those. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get into, and then we have also from Drunk Elephant. I got this, I don't know, some type of set or a sample or something from Sephora maybe, or Ulta, I don't know. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This is really hydrating and I really do like it. I feel like I've had a mini of this or maybe it was another moisturizer from Drunk Elephant that I got as a mini, but it was really nice. I'm just, I'm not paying that price for them. I'm sorry, they, they pricey. Now we can get into sunscreens. Okay, so I have the Whoa Glow Sun Touchable from e.l.f. I wanna try their other sunscreen too. So now that I've used this up, I really did like it, very glowy. If you don't like glow, you're not gonna like it, but I used all of it. It is SPF 30. And then I also use the Tula Skincare Protect and Glow Sunscreen. Um, I mean, it was fine, pricey. They have a bigger one, but you know, I like e.l.f., I'm sorry. I mean, it's hydrating and it is glowy. They have other ones, but I'm like, I, I rather get some cheaper. And then I love the Trader Joe's sunscreen too. This is so good. I use it like as a makeup primer. It's clear. I have repurchased it. It's SPF 40, oil-free, it's invisible gel. Like literally it's clear and it's like a primer. It feels kind of silicone-y. I really, really, I love this. So, and then toothpaste, we have the Natine. I think I got this from TJ Maxx. It was okay. It's a soothing mint. Um, I try to get plastic free, but like a lot of the toothpaste, like the sustainable toothpaste are not very good. Like they're just not, but this was okay. Um, and then we have, I also like this brand too. The Hey Humans. Like you can get every little drop, but this is sustainable. I really like this a lot and it's made in the US, which is awesome. But this was, it's like, they are pricey. They're like six, $7, but they are really, I do really like this toothpaste and like you can pop it. So anyway, and then deodorant wise, we have the, I think I got this in a better beauty box. I don't know, like, mm. this is the N-O, it has like the O, like almost like a, like a, like on the periodic table, like elements, compounds, whatever. It's been a while since I taken science class. <laughs> Green natural deodorant. This was okay. Um, I think I'm, I'm just done with this. It didn't really work very well. So I'm like, I'm just done. It smells kind of weird, like almost like medicinal, but like it just didn't work. So like I, it, it was kind of wet too, like not not really feeling that. And then we have, I don't know what is going on with Native. I used to love Native. Now I'm using other deodorants. Um, I did post a video about my deodorant that I've been using that I really, really like. It's a deodorant cream, which sounds kind of weird putting it on my armpits, but I'm telling you it works. Like I said, check out my video on my armpits. Check out my video on my favorite deodorant get on Amazon, which this is plastic free too, but I don't know what is going on. Some of my native deodorants, I smell like sweating and like whatever, but smelling, I don't like to smell. So some of these work, some of these have not worked. So I'm like, and they're not cheap. So, and I do like the other deodorant better. But anyway, I have some of the plastic free ones, but I'm throwing these out because I smell with these. Like this was their holiday line last year. I think I got these like later in the year, but I smell. Like the best one out of these is the candy, the gummy bears, but I still smell. And I like that they're plastic free, but like, I don't want to smell. Like I used native for a few years and now I stink. This I got, I think I had a better beauty box, but it's just old and like, it was okay. This is a deodorant cream from Speak. It's also plastic free, but I don't like this consistency. Like smell, smell is kind of weird, but I think it's gone bad, but that's not my favorite. And then enough with deodorants. Then we have from Osea, I got this um, last Christmas. I've been using this up, but this, and I have, I think I got a bigger one of this. Yeah, this is from Osea, they are pricey. This is a body oil. 
which you don't really see a lot of, and they are a sustainable brand. I do like them. They are, like I said, they're expensive, but you can get them at Ulta, and they're really nice. My mom got me this little, like, travel set, to a little sampler set, and I do really like them. And then let's get into some body scrubs. So this is from last Christmas. We're still using one up. This was in a tumble in a coffee tumbler when I was working at Ulta. They have these little ones. They're they're not horrible, but I do prefer Tree Hut and the Trader Joe's body scrubs, which right now they have a pumpkin one. So this is glistening snow and twilight snow. So these were nice. Um, they're cute. I like the travel mug. <laughs> I like the coffee mug a lot. But yeah, anyway, um, that came with three and the coffee mug for like it's like a nice you know like stainless steel coffee mug for like. I want to say 20 bucks. I think I got it with my discount at the time when I was working at Ulta. So I got those. Ulta has their own, um, their own skincare. Like they're, they have makeup, they have skincare. They have, I don't know about hair care, but they have like bath, body, all that kind of stuff. And then from Tree Hut, I have the Candy Cane Shea Sugar Scrub. I also got this during Christmas. They have like three of these. I just have some water in there because we're not sinking out. But I got that little set too. And then also from Tree Hut, this Tropical Glow. This one smells... Now it smells really bad. Now, this smells, I think it was like the, kind of like the Boom Boom Cream, but very, very like slightly. I don't know if it actually firmed your skin or not, but like it has pistachio and garuna, which I think is like the Boom Boom Cream, but way cheaper. But I would repurchase. I do like body scrubs. My husband and I have been on big body scrubs. Okay, now we're going to get into makeup. Some of these are just old, so I may not have used them up, but I can give you guys a review on them. So this is separated and just looks kind of like gross, like... It's just different colors. You can't really tell all the way, but like, it's just kind of gunky. But I've used this up like, I feel like I have a quarter or like a mm, little less than half left. This is from Morphe too. I also don't like if you touch this, like it comes off in your finger, which is gross. But this is the Hint Hint Skin Tint. I've had this for like two years, almost two years. I had this for like a little over a year and a half. It's just nice. It's the sheer to medium buildable coverage. It is kind of matte, but it is, I did like it. Um, but it's just old and it's been kind of acting weird. So I'm like, mm. and then this, I, I feel like I'm right here. So I used up, I used this up too, but it's also kind of acting a little weird. The pretty natural hydrating foundation from Essence. I've only had this for like, I think maybe a year, but I don't know. It's just, it was kind of acting a little weird. So anyway, it is, I like this too. I didn't think it was hydrating. Um, I don't think it's like glowy or anything. Um, so this is a hydrating, hydrating foundation of hyaluronic acid, aloe vera. It wasn't drying. It was nice, but I wouldn't say it's like the most hydrating foundation, but it wasn't bad. It's like six bucks. You can get essence on sale all the time. Then from Carter Beauty, I got this off of Amazon and you can get, I don't know if you can tell, but like literally every time I touch it, the paint comes off of my finger, which is really kind of weird. I wouldn't say this was super dewy, but this is from Carter Beauty. This is a half measure dewy foundation. It's seen some better days. It's kind of like separating a little bit it's just kind of acting odd I'm like so anyway um i've had that for like a year ish um i wouldn't say it was super dewy but it was okay it wasn't awful i did like it but it's just i don't like that it, you know it gets on my finger i'm sorry it's just too much that is a glass bottle though and so is the morphe one and then we have from nyx I'm done with this because there's beeswax in here and i didn't know that so i felt really bad now I'm using other glitter primers. I like the Ben Nye one the most. I've also used the Carlet Cosmetics, but I do like the Ben, ben, ben Nye one the most, and I do want to try the Fierne one. But anyway, the NYX glitter primer, not going to repurchase because it's not vegan. Please stop putting beeswax in products. Then I've had this. This is like my first, this is really old. Um, I got this like in college. This is my, one of my first products from Urban Decay, so I've kind of kept this for nostalgia purposes. I haven't used it in years, but... This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Lip Pencil and Turn On. My mom got me this and the lipstick and I got a foundation, concealer, and a, I think concealer and a powder. And I remember being like, oh, but also they put the makeup on me and stuff. It was, it was a really cool experience. But anyway, it's been a while. So thank you. And then we're not going to talk about Voldemort here. That's old. Sorry. It was a nice shade. Wouldn't say this is my favorite formula in high world, but. We're not gonna talk about it. Then we have, I got this in BoxyCharm. This is from Uma Beauty. This is the Salute to the Sun. I really feel like the packaging, but it was an okay mascara. I wouldn't say it was the best, probably overpriced. This I did not like from AF94, the 
majorly matte matte liquid lip i'm wearing a liquid lip right now from huda beauty it's my first time using it because it's vegan and i've been trying to do beauty i got this literally a couple days ago in my box charm but in my box charm by ipsy the shape bombshell but this was awful this was drying cracked came off it's terrible sorry i do like other products but not that for the brand then we have from nyx the super skinny eye marker i did like this but i do like other ones more but i do like how small it was small the tip what <laughs> i do like how small the tip was okay um i do like it more than the epic ink epic ink like it just it flares out like the whatever they are the bristles i feel like it bleeds like it doesn't last as long it dries out and i've heard that from other people too because i used to work at ulta this is better no one talks about this but i like it better and here's the epic ink liner like it just gets yucky like i don't know it's not my favorite and then this is awful this dear midnight which also my like i don't know what it is with some products like when you touch it it gets on your fingers and stuff i'm like no this is the black eyeliner but it makes a mess every time i touch it so i'm like no like i get little black things on my fingers so no i got that in ipsy and i'm like nope no then we have i this used to be my favorite mascara the essence lash princess curl and volume we could never get the purple one at my store when i was at ulta but then i was like oh i like the pink one but now i actually like this one from essence this lash like a boss curl and lift instant lift and curl i like this the best and then the tube of mascara from tarte it's the tartlet tube mascara i really do like this i go with get the minis of mascara if i can high in ones because i personally like i like that the brush the i like that the brush the brush is smaller but yeah i really do like that mascara and then um this is super old so this is the scooby-doo bat mascara from glam light um it was not very good i think it's only like i think it was like 14 dollars, but it's kind of pricey and i don't even know if you can get it anymore but it was just kind of like meh. nothing to write home about the packaging is cute but that's about it and then also from next a lift and snatch in the shade brunette brow tint pen love these already repurchased and also have a different shade and then the lottie london i've had this for a long time lottie london a.m to p.m <laughs> um eyeliner in the shade mocha i don't even know if they have this they don't even have at my old tellies and i haven't seen lottie london in a long time even online and i really do like lottie london's um what was good eyeliner um i'm trying to remember what oh i really like their mascara but i don't even know if they're at my walmart i can't find them online anywhere it's very difficult to find but anyway i do like that this is super old urban decay has hit and miss or hit is hit and miss for me especially eyeliner wise but this was their john michelle basquiat um collection in the shade autonomy i remember i got this on super sale when they were almost out of these and this was such a cool color for eyeliner but i've had this a long time so i'm like okay you too old and then two lip liners from nyx these are not my favorite lip liners from nyx i prefer the slide on glide on definitely turn on and also the line loud but these are in the shades ever and peekaboo neutral who remembers Manny and Miwe and a lot of people talk about these liners, but they're not very good in my opinion compared to the other ones. This is super old. This is, I believe in the shade Verona from, um, from Ofra. Yeah, it even smells differently, which I'm like, doesn't smell sweet anymore. It smells like it's gone bad, but I do like their formula a lot. You know, they have some drama. Then we have the Ilia concealer. I did actually really like this concealer, um, even though it's a thinner concealer. And I scraped the sides and stuff. I mean, I probably could have done more, but I did try as much as I could. And I did like this, but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase that anytime soon. This is from Milani. Their Cheek Kiss Blush in the shade Coral Crush. I just thought this was way too pigmented. I mean, I thought it was really good. But I was always, like, kind of nervous to use this because it was so pigmented. And I love blush. I'm not wearing any right now because I didn't have time. But, yeah. Um, it, I just, I've had this for a few years. I'm like, okay. And then this was a Amy Loves Makeup recommendation but i'm like i did not like it we must have i haven't even talked to her about it i don't know what is in here too there's like a plastic piece in here but this was really cheap i just didn't think it was i need an eyeshadow primer like i have oily eyelids that that does no this is, did not work for me then we have the, i actually got this in box this was amazing this is from sandbar 
um, Beauty. This is their Shadow Light Longwear Eyeshadow Primer. It actually was really good and I was surprised because like a lot of eyeshadow primers don't work for me. And then from Complex Culture, this is like their 4-in-1 mascara. Five, excuse me, 5-in-1 five length fitting mascara. I thought that it was actually pretty, pretty good, but I don't, I think they're just like an Ipsy brand. Like the wand was like whatever, but I thought it was a pretty good mascara. Um, and I'm pretty picky with mascara. Like I like volume and length. And then lastly, we have from LA Girl. This is just really, really old. This is in the shade Mermaid Blue. It's just not performing like it used to. And I feel like I, I mean, I did okay. I need to use more up. But yeah, that is all my products that I used up. And yeah, uh, when you're recycling and throwing stuff out.